welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the spoiler tag and I was tagged for this uh, forever ago it feels like. Um, I've kind of fallen behind on my tag videos lately uh, mainly because I didn't really do any in June. Um, I was just focusing on different videos. I did like two readathons for instance. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit behind, um, as always, but I feel like uh, these days I'm even further behind. So for those of you who have tagged me, um, I haven't forgotten. I intend to do all the tags eventually. It may just take me a little bit more time, uh, and some of them may take longer than others, but you know, I'll get to them eventually. Uh, so today I'm doing the spoiler tag. And I was tagged for this video by Lana from Lana X Libris and Liz from For Booking Out Loud. And uh, they probably don't even remember tagging me because um, it's been a while. But today I'm here doing this tag finally, so uh, let's just get to it. So question number one is, what do you consider a spoiler? And like technically I would say that anything that isn't in the synopsis uh, of a book or like generally known about the book could be considered a spoiler, but obviously especially things that says important things about the plot or gives away important things about the story, those are definitely spoilers. When I talk about books on here, I will usually say enough about the book to give you a general idea about what the book is about. So basically the setup or the premise of the story. I will usually try to stick to things that happens pretty early in the book, so maybe within the first 10 to 15% of the book usually. But sometimes if I think it won't ruin the book for anyone else, I will mention things that happens later in the book as well, but maybe in more general terms. Uh, if I think that's important to give you a more accurate idea about what the story is about. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I see it. Question number two. Does the genre you're reading impact what you consider to be a spoiler? And I would say yes, absolutely. Some good examples here of genres that I read a lot from uh, is romance versus mystery or thrillers. With romance books, I feel like I could know quite a lot about the book without considering myself spoiled for it. Since there are a lot of things about the romance genre that are pretty standard, like, you know, the happily ever after usually and there are a lot of tropes and things like that. So I will enjoy the journey of a romance novel, uh, even knowing how it's going to end or knowing uh, quite a lot about it. But with mysteries and thrillers, I feel like pretty much anything could be considered a spoiler. And I usually don't know too much about them uh, before I read them. Usually I will just know enough about it to know if it's a book that I'm interested in reading or not. So when I talk about mysteries and thrillers on here, I will usually talk about them in more general terms than when I talk about romance books, for instance. And I will probably say less about what the book is about than I do with, for instance, a romance. Question number three. All the best bits are in the trailer. Sometimes a synopsis can be too detailed. Do you research books prior to reading them or do you go in knowing nothing? So what I usually do is that I will hear about a book, like I will read a synopsis or I will hear a review or something like that. And if that book sounds interesting, I might put it on my TBR or my wish list. Uh, but then it will usually take me quite a bit of time to actually get to the book. And by the time I'm ready to read it, I will usually have forgotten most about what the book is about. So at that point, I will not really look much at synopsis uh, before going into it. So that means I will go into it with kind of a general idea about what it is about, but I won't really remember much else. Um, so I guess in that way, I do usually go into books pretty blind. Uh, but of course, I also do TBR videos on this channel, so I will usually briefly at least look at the synopsis of a book before I film uh, TBR videos, just to give you a general idea about what the book is about. Uh, but I don't really do that for me, because I know at the time they are on my TBR, uh, I will be interested in reading it. So um, yeah, I will say I don't do too much research. I usually go into books pretty blind. Then we have question number four. Sometimes the introduction or translator's notes can spoil the ending, especially for classics. Has this ever happened to you? 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure it has, but with classics I don't really mind that much. Or I don't always read the introductions anyway, or I might read them after I've read the book. So this is not something that's really bothered me too much, or you know, that really happens to me a lot. So yeah, no, this is not really a big problem for me. Question number five. Name a time somebody spoiled a novel for you. And this doesn't actually happen a lot. Uh, I'm pretty good at staying away from spoilers if I don't want to know anything about the book. And I feel like the bookish community, or at least the people that I watch on here, are usually pretty good at not giving away spoilers. But I was actually spoiled for the last book in the Twilight series back when I was reading those many years ago. Um, I was never a super fan of the books or anything, but you know, I enjoyed them well enough at the time. So, you know, I was reading them and then I'd read the first three books and it took me a little while to get to the fourth book. Um, and before then I was actually spoiled for the fourth book. Um, and what I heard about it made me not want to read it. Um, so I didn't. I never really got to the fourth book in a series. I never really felt an urge to read it. And at this point, I am pretty sure that I never will, so I guess I will just never finish the Twilight series, which, you know, I'm perfectly fine with. Question number six is, have you ever spoiled a novel for somebody else? And I mean, maybe. Uh, I might have spoiled a book for someone, but I've never done it on purpose. That I can say for sure. Unless, you know, the person actually wanted me to spoil the book for them. But I might have accidentally spoiled a book for someone. Or maybe someone who thinks differently about spoilers than I do will feel like I've spoiled a book for them when I talk about it on here. That might have happened, but no, I've never purposefully uh, spoiled a book for anyone. I always try not to uh, go too much into spoilers when I talk about books. So, Question number seven. If spoilers ruin novels, are there some authors or genres you can't reread? And I want to say no, but there are some genres I'm less likely to reread. And again, I have to mention mysteries and thrillers for genres that I don't normally reread from, but I have actually done it. Though it had been so long since I read the book for the first time that I couldn't actually remember anything from it, so um, yeah. I also have a really bad memory when it comes to books, which is why I will often reread, you know, the first book in the series maybe before I continue on to the next book. So if I wait long enough, I can usually always reread books uh, without remembering much of it. So, so I want to say no, there isn't really any genres that I can ever reread, but there are definitely genres I'm less likely to reread. Then we have the final question, which is question number eight. When reviewing, are you spoiler free? Does this limit your ability to discuss? And yes, I'm pretty much always spoiler free. And yes, I do feel that it limits me a little bit because, you know, I can talk about a book in like general terms, but often I can't really go into exactly what it was that made me like or dislike the book. And that can feel especially limiting if there were certain things about the story that I didn't like, for instance. And maybe it's difficult for me to explain why I didn't like the book without mentioning that one thing or those things. Um, so yeah, I will say that it limits me a little bit, but I don't feel like it's too much of a problem. So that was all the questions for this tag. It also says to tag some people, but um, let's be real, everyone I feel like has done this tag at this point. So I haven't even bothered to check if anyone that I know haven't done this tag, because I assume that most of you have. Uh, but if you haven't, then consider yourself tagged by me, because I would love to see you do it. This is one of my favorite tags, so uh, yeah, definitely do it if you haven't already. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always hit like down below, or you could subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!